It was a dead zone. <laughs> That's the only way to put it. You had a pedestrian mall, and you, know, you could walk down it and see very few people. I used to like to say you could roll a bowling ball down it and not hit anything. We had a clock that was stuck at a certain time, and we had ponds with uh, ugly green water. In the 1990s, not that many people really wanted to come downtown. The perception was it wasn't that safe. It wasn't very exciting and it was a place that people used to go. There was not much happening, but people wanted it to happen. It was almost like willing it to happen. Our downtown had so much potential, and for whatever reasons, it had been overlooked. So to have all of the stakeholders come together was really, really important. It was an interesting time when DRA was first created. There were a lot of interest by property owners and uh, city leaders to do something about downtown, but no one was really that sure what to do. When the DRA came along, it was a way in which uh, the public sector at City Hall and the private sector and the business community through DRA could partner to envision what uh, Raleigh could be if uh, everybody got uh, sort of pulling in the same direction. Instead of each entity trying to pull it their own way, if you combine your forces, you get a better result. We formed that original board in 1996, and we met every two weeks for five years. Together, we all had a consistent vision of where we wanted Raleigh to be. There was agreement that something needed to be done about Fayetteville Street, and we needed a new convention center as well. The downtown Raleigh Alliance's advice on both those issues was key to our moving forward. Without that support, we wouldn't have the kind of vibrant community that we have in the downtown area today. It's been amazing to me what's happened because there's such high energy levels right now. We really have a series of downtown events now that attract all elements of the community. People want to live, work, and play all in one area. And uh, Raleigh was smart to, to create a blueprint for that to happen. The board realized that we had to be more than a clean and safe organization. When we added board members and brought branding and marketing expertise, I really think that elevated the organization. The challenges that downtown Raleigh has with activity, noise, congestion, they were the dreams that we had as a board because we didn't have any of those things. We were trying to get people to make sure that downtown was relevant, and now it's beyond that. It's, uh, it's where people want to go. Raleigh's best days are ahead of it. This is a remarkable place. We really just started. We've got a terrific foundation, a downtown that is really building on itself. I really think that organizations like ours are strongest when we're evolving with the downtown. And I think that's going to be very exciting. Uh, we look at evolving and really doing what we do well now, uh, spreading it out and doing it even further beyond the boundaries that we have now. We live in this really great community and the sky is the limit. It's really how far do you want to go? How far do you want to take your imagination? Because the commitment, the leadership, uh, the assets are here.